Very good. What's the key to success what in this world and in yeah, the hereafter? Yeah. Okay. What is the key to success in, our, in this world and hereafter? How? How? How can we be successful? No? If you say pran, 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 if we, if we, if we, if we, if we follow its teachings, follow very good. If we follow the teachings of the Holy Quran, which are quite natural, no? We will be successful in this world and in the hereafter. Any other question? Can you? On the Lord. No problem, just just be here. Deep. Dear seniors, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And I am Abdul Wasay and I am here to talk about the Holy Quran and its sources. Very good. And the Holy Quran, the source of guidance, not its sources. The Holy Quran in itself is the source of guidance. Now, Deep. The Holy Quran is the last book of Allah Almighty. Very good. The Holy Quran is the last book of Allah Almighty. Allah revealed so many books, no? But there are four books, no, which are mentioned in the Holy Quran with names. First is Torah. No, that was revealed unto Musa Islam. No, indeed, that was revealed unto Isa, Jesus Islam. And then the book, no, that was revealed unto Dabud al-Islam, no David, and the last one, the Holy Quran that was revealed in the Quran. There are so many books, but these are the books which are named, which are mentioned in the Holy Quran with their names. Yes. Yeah. We seek guidance from it. Very good. We seek guidance from it, from it means from the Holy Quran. Okay. There, there are six hundred and six thousand. Okay. Okay, so Abdul Wasi says that the number of verses of the Holy Quran is 66 six and 66. No? So I request my son now, please open the Holy Quran and count. No? There are 114 surahs, are they very easy? No? You can find Surah Fatiha, there are 7 verses like that. No? Okay. It will take 10 to 15 minutes and you can total it. I think it's not no, 6, 6 and 66. This is my one. Maybe you know you can count it. No, clear. Yeah. You will count it. You can count. J. Yeah. Prophet says that that a person is the best who who learn who learn the Holy Quran and talk and teach it to others. Very good. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says that the best among you is the one who loves the Holy Quran and teaches it to others. This is no use. J. Yeah. The Holy Quran is the source of guidance. Yeah. There, there are 30 paras. Ah, paras, I don't know paras, paras no? And surah, chapters, chapters ayah, verses. Now, these are three information enough, no? There yeah. are seven millions. Okay, so the recitation, no, it is divided into seven different parts, no? Please, part one, part two, part three, no? It is divided, no? When you start deciding the Holy Quran, no? Yeah. Okay, what? The, the Holy Quran tells us that don't uh, offer, offer prayers. Okay, the Holy Quran asks, commands us to offer prayers regularly. The Holy Quran commands us, us to speak the truth. Yeah. The Holy Quran tells us to, to, what? to do good deeds, to help the poor, to help the needy. Don't fight with others. Ah, tell us not to. Tell not, us not, not to fight with others, not to create problems for others, not to abuse others, no, not to create disturbance in the universe, in the world, no. Jee. The Holy God tells us that we Allah Almighty and, and all prophets. Okay, the Holy Quran commands us to believe in Allah Almighty and all messengers no that was sent no no in different uh, you can say prayers no at different places no and during different time G. thank you the holy quran is the source of guidance 
if you want to find or have the right path, they will have to recite or read the Holy Quran. Yeah. Holy Quran is the path of Flatulent Sakim. Ah, it's a straight path. Very good. The Holy Quran is the straight path. Now, which is known as Siratulu Sakim. In the name Siratulu Sakim, if we know, pray to Allah Almighty in our prayers. No, Namaz Salaam. Ji. Ji, question from your side. Uh, name. Name what? Or whom? Name the whom? Name prophet only. Okay. Allah revealed the Very good. What's the name of the prophet now? And to whom no the boot? The boot was revealed. Ji. Hadad Dawood al Islam. Very good. In English we say David. Dawood al Islam. No, in Arabic Dawood. In Urdu Dawood. And in Arabic. Dabu in English, David. Jib. Jib. Question from your side. How does the Holy Quran stop, stop us from the bad things? How? What's the technique? How does the Holy Quran stop us? If, if we learn it. Very good. If, if we learn it by, by many. Okay. We, we avoid. Very good. So if we learn, no, if we recite the Holy Quran with its meaning, with its proper translation, then we can no, understand its message. And the moment we understand its message, no, we stop doing bad deeds. Very good. Deep. What is the biggest rule of the Holy Quran? Okay. The biggest rule of the Holy Quran is Surah Al-Qur'an. Okay, the longest one. That's why I don't know. The shortest rule of the Holy Quran. Okay. The shortest rule of the Holy Quran is Surah Al-Qur'an. Surah Al-Kawthar Inna Aqtayna Kal Kawthar Who said that that are the truth? Very good. The Quran tells us. The Quran commands us now to speak the truth. Okay, did it. How can we get Jannah as a reward? Very good. How can we get now the paradise as a reward? How? What should we do? We can offer prayers. Okay. Don't tell a lie. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Always, uh, always, broad, always being broad minded. Beautiful. If we are broad minded, if we now listen to others and we analyze place and we accept or reject now in the light of the Holy Quran. Yes, either that is in accordance with the Holy Quran or not. If something matches with it, we take it. Yes? See, and if we follow its teachings, the teachings of the Holy Quran, so inshallah, we will be having what? The paradise, not as a reward. This is so that's the deal. From we think we can see guidance. Okay. We can see guidance from the from the Holy Quran, the book of Allah Almighty. Which people should be, uh, which people should be thrown to hell? Okay, what kind of people will be thrown into hell? What kind of people? People who don't believe in Allah Almighty and, and His messengers. Okay. They are thrown. And those who do bad deeds. Bad deeds. They, they, they are thrown. Okay. In, into hell. They will be thrown into So all those people who don't follow the teachings of Allah Almighty, those who create problem in the universe, those who don't help others, those who don't help the needy, you know, those you know, who disturb the society. So in the light of the Holy Quran we can say now that such people will be thrown into hell. They will be punished. As somebody does something wrong, so he is punished in the union in this world or not? If you do something wrong in the, in the school, what happens? Teacher punishment. See, it's a punishment is quite natural, no? And again, its intensity is according to the intensity of that activity. If you do something very wrong, very the punishment is very wrong. Absolutely. Not. If something minor is there, punishment will be minor. The same is the case with 